Good afternoon, everyone, and it's truly my pleasure to be a part of this conversation and to provide some closing remarks here uh, on the partnership and collaboration between Army Futures Command and the Lieber Institute. Uh, Lieber Institute was founded in 2016. Uh, Colonel Reeves had the, the great idea of furthering our understanding of the law of armed conflict, and so we, we kicked this thing off uh, in 2016, and it's been going great. And these are the exact type of conversations that we like to have uh, with, with partners from Army Futures Command. And first, I'd like to thank uh, General Murray for taking the time to lead off this event. I would also like to thank Colonel Ahern and Colonel Cora, as they have been terrific uh, partners in this endeavor. Additionally, we are grateful for the assistance and input from OTJAG, National Security Law Division. Uh, and, and, you know, partnerships like, like this one uh, between Le the Lieber Institute and Army Futures Command enhance the missions of both um, of, of both organizations, and consequently, we're excited about moving forward. Now, throughout this conversation, I thought about uh, looking at, you know, when we're looking at how the law will apply in future warfare, sometimes uh, when we think about that, it might be helpful to take a look back, take a look back at history. And I often do that when I'm doing my research. I look back. So, so why does the law say this? Why is the law this way. So I do take a step back and and it's helpful to be at West Point uh, because law has been taught at West Point since 1821, 200 years. And the, the curriculum, uh, the law of armed conflict was added to the curriculum in 1879 uh, by G. Norman Lieber. The, at the time, he was the department head and he added the Lieber code to the curriculum and it's been a part of the curriculum since that time. And as Professor Watts mentioned earlier, the law of war has evolved has evolved as war has changed. And we see that in the history of the law department and its lessons on the law of war. We also see that history in our library and the books that date back to the 1800s. Uh, there is nothing more, uh, you know, fun for me is to find a book on the military justice system from 1864. Uh, I think it should be it should, should be in the museum, but it, but it is fascinating to look back at that. But there's value in looking at history as it demonstrates that the Lieber Institute is a natural part of the evolution of teaching and understanding uh, the law of armed conflict as we seek to anticipate the challenges of future wars rather than react to them. Now, a little bit of background on the mission of the Lieber Institute. The mission of the Lieber Institute is to foster a deeper understanding of the complex and evolving relationship between law and warfare in order to educate and empower current and future combat leaders. The Institute lies at the crossroads of scholarship and practice by bringing together, together scholars, military officers, and legal advisors from around the world. The Institute leverages academic and military expertise to examine the role of the law of armed conflict in emerging conflicts and ensure the law's relevance in contemporary warfare. And, and I like the point, that uh, Rob Lawless just made in that last conversation about the law has to work. We have to work within the law because we're committed to doing it. And it is our job as, as, as lawyers, as judge advocates, as legal advisors to make uh, the law work because it can. Uh, and the Libra Institute achieves its mission uh, through three lines of effort, research, collaboration, and education. Now this partnership with, with Army Futures Command allows us to achieve all three of these lines of efforts. We have been engaged in research and scholarship on the future of law, law of, of, on the future of the law of armed conflict for, for quite some time. In fact, the first volume of the Lieber series was ded dedicated to uh, the complex battle spaces, looking at the complexities in modern warfare. And also, uh, we took the time and we dedicated one of our workshops to the future law of armed conflict, uh, and that will be a volume in the Lieber book series, which is in this particular volume is edited by Professor Matt Waxman of Columbia Law School and Lieutenant Colonel Tom Oakley of the West Point Law Department. Just a little background on Libra, the Libra Study Series. Uh, it is a series that is published by Oxford University Press and is dedicated to the study of the law of armed conflict and now includes five published volumes and with a sixth uh, volume expected to come out next month. This series really is focused on thinking deeply and broadly about uh, the law of armed conflict and, and a lot of our volumes really hit on this topic, complex battle spaces, emerging technologies, the future law of armed conflict. Uh, so all of those volumes have been very helpful to our understanding and anticipating what the legal challenges will be. 
but also these volumes highlight the collaboration line of effort as we often work with law professors and programs from many law schools like Columbia Law School, University of Texas Austin, Harvard Law School, and Emory Law School. In addition to law schools, we also have partnered with other organizations and institutions like Oxford University and LACMO, the Law of Armed Conflict and Military Operations and International Research Network. The close ties with these organizations and academic institutions provide broad and diverse perspectives that are helpful to deepening our understanding of the law of armed conflict. The education line of effort is very important to us, and it makes a significant con and, and the Lieber Institute makes a significant contribution to cadet education on the law of armed conflict at West Point. Now, as we discuss the challenges of the future of that future warfare brings. We are often reminded that the cadets sitting in the classroom are going to be the ones that are going to be the tactical and operational leaders in 2035. And that is something that we think about a, a lot. So our work with Army Futures Command will assist us as we deepen the cadets understanding of the law and the anticipated challenges posed by its application to future warfare. Now, I have to confess that it cannot be overstated that the character of warfare may change, and but the nature of warfare has been often been said will not. And neither will our nation's commitment to winning and winning the next war, and neither will our nation's commitment to following the law of armed conflict, no matter how the armed, con armed conflict is characterized. And I often do uh, add what we learn from these type of partnerships. Sometimes it presents itself as a vignette to cadets to challenge their thinking. You know, we do a lot of lessons, we do a lot of education on law of armed conflict, and there's no uh, greater joy than to take a vignette that we've been able to establish based on this collaboration and see how cadets respond, see how they take the education that we've taught them and apply it to those scenarios. It's, it's a great tool uh, for us uh, to learn how they think and for us to also kind of show them how to think. So I really enjoy it. I really enjoy doing this. So that's why we're really, really excited. We can't overstate our excitement for this partnership. So we are fully committed to this endeavor, and I'd like to highlight a few upcoming events that we have. So next week on April 27th, Lieber Institute will partner with the West Point Modern War Institute and Army Futures Command for a MWI War Council. It's, a, it's an event titled The Future of Proxy Warfare. This virtual event will feature discussion on of proxies on the future battlefield from a military operational, science and technological and legal perspectives. Also, as talked about earlier, we are committed to the Future Studies Program. Uh, it's been great. Uh, we've really learned a lot and we look, look forward to providing subject matter expertise to FSP3 and FSP4. Also, in September, the Lieber Institute and Army Futures Command will host a conference on the future of the law of armed conflict. This conference will take place in Austin, Texas, and will feature discussions by law of war experts on the LOAC implications of future operational concepts currently under development development at Army Futures Command. Also, the Lieber Institute will host its annual conference this year in October. It's on big data and implications for the law of armed conflict, and this will also result in another volume for the Lieber book series. In addition to all of our events, we will continue with our public, our forthcoming public publications. Like I discussed earlier, we're going to put out a volume probably this fall on the future law of armed conflict. That's the volume edited by Professor Matt Weiss and Lieutenant Colonel Oakley. Early in 2022, uh, we're going to publish another volume on detention and armed conflict, and that is edited by Professor Mike Schmidt, our distinguished Libra scholar, and Major Andrew Deal of the Law Department. And that's going to be a volume, another collaborative effort, bringing together practitioners and academics to look at detention. And this is a very important topic that is often overlooked in armed conflict. Detention is, is, is a big deal, and it's going to be great. Uh, to do a deep dive on that and the implications for future warfare. Now, both of these volumes are, are again, our collaborative efforts, and we're looking forward to their publication. And in addition to the, our series, as many of you know, uh, we have the law of the Articles of War blog. It's an exciting blog, uh, and we really, uh, I, I learn a lot from it, reading the different perspectives. Again, it's a lot of different perspectives on the law of armed conflict and all the related areas of law that touch on that area. And the most recent post, by Brigadier General Houston of the Army JAG Corps is on deterrence and winning the next war, a topic that we talked about today. I direct your attention. It's a really good blog, and, and I highly recommend uh, that, that you read it. And then we have a couple of upcoming blogs that will also touch on future warfare and the law of conflict. Uh, the first one that should be out here soon is by Professor Lori Blank, 
Professor uh, Jensen, Professor Eric Jensen, Larry Lewis, and Daphne Richmond Barak on technology, humanity, and the end of war. And the second blog will be written by the, the head of the law department, Colonel Shane Reeves, and it will be on understanding future battle space and the role that the partnership between Army Futures Command and the Lieber Institute will play in that in this understanding. And finally, I'd like to close with a thought, uh, a, a thought that, again, I, that we talked about, that, that I think about, that is really relevant to what we do here, and is educating cadets has a way of focusing our exploration of future warfare because they will be the leaders who will have the mission of fighting and winning future wars. And this partnership with Futures Command enhances that focus. So we're deeply grateful for this partnership and we're really excited about moving forward. And I really thank everyone for coming out and I hope that you will continue to stay, stay engaged with us. And with that, I will turn it over to Major John Caslin. Thank you.